Yesterday we taught um, the class on Midsummer Night's Dream a memoir about bottoms and um, time in the woods. Basically, we was just teaching the class about uh, Shakespeare's play, The Midsummer Night's Dream, and like about bottoms part in it, and we was just teaching them like how to write a memoir. It's from another child's view of it, so they know that if one child can do it, they can do it as well. So it's from their view as well. It helped me to like talk to them and how we could I could help them in other classes as well. Uh, like it sort of taught me about like how like because it sort of because we made success criteria I sort of knew what I wanted to do in my one. It's about what you want to be rem remembered for. Have to discuss in your groups of what you what you what you wanted to remember for, and then you have to write it down. It benefited me by them helping us with certain words and like explaining stuff in more detail. Well, it was quite nice to get um, ex experience from someone my age. I wasn't very sure about it at the beginning, but it kind of made me feel a bit confident with myself and my work. Uh, I learned the way they all came round and I learned some more stuff about the play. They helped me do my work. Kind of like made me understand more because they understood it because they managed to teach it, so it sort of made me understand more. Okay. Ellen, Faye, what have you got? You can dance table, what have you got? When they come over and like really helps, like not just going, yeah, do this and then walked off, they wait until I've done it to make sure I understood it. One of the problems that I found with my year eight mixed ability group is that some of the students were struggling to write analytical paragraphs. So in a way to overcome that obstacle, I decided to um, create a card sort activity which allowed the students to put together um, the, the paragraph in the way that it's structured. So some of the card sort would, they would lay it out how the paragraph is set up, and then they would have cards that would be sentence starters that relate to the structure um, of the paragraph. And I've seen that over the last few terms, their analytical skills have started to increase, and as a result of that, the reading um, data for Key Stage 3 um, sims to go home to parents is obviously um, increasing. My levels like, have gone up. Like, I understand how to write them, and I can be more fluent, and I learn more like difficult things into them. And like, my grades have gone up by like sub levels like it just like helps you like remember like what order to do it in because I was like mixing it up a bit before and like I started off as like a 5A and now I've got to like a 6B with the card source helping out. Also in conjunction with the card sort activity that I do for um, structure and analytical paragraph I also use a writing frame um, that I give to select students who are struggling with the process of writing an analytical paragraph. This is an analytical paragraph writing frame and it uses um, two points to help you with your analytical paragraph. It also includes sentence structures to analyse your piece of evidence. And um, I, it helps because I went from a 5B up to a 6C in my grades. It can be tailored to each student's needs. You might add in a challenge or you might make it a little bit more basic. You might take away the sentence starters and just give them the outline of the paragraph. It's entirely up to you and obviously the student's needs. Um, I have found, along with the card sort activity, um, that this has helped students improve uh, their reading um, levels. Because um, it started, I didn't really understand analytical paragraph, um, but this helped me get from a 5A to a 6C. 